Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Drawing and Talking with your host, Freebie Wits. That's me. And today we're taking a look at Ryan. Now, Ryan is a robot classified as someone who is neutral good. He doesn't believe in any deities, but he is freaking tall. He is six foot freaking four. His body type is robotic, which is, you know, kind of what you'd expect. He, he, he's a robot. What, what are you going to do about it? He is 800 pounds. He has dark eyes. He is ambidextrous because, well, I assume it's because he's a robot. He loves flowers but doesn't like water, as most robots, I assume, do not. Now, the thing is, in his information slash biography slash his background, it, it, it's very short. It just says, Ryan is a robot who was designed for cleaning, though he's managed to burn his own code. Now he's a codeless robot who wants to make friends. He loves flowers too. Very light on the description, but that's fine, as I've mentioned before in many a backstory. In fact, I find when it comes to backstories, it's better to keep it nice and short, especially for LARP, because if you're telling everybody about your backstory, you're probably monologuing, unless you've got something this short, where it's like, you just tell people, oh yeah, I'm a robot who used to clean, now I'm a free robot. That, that's it. That's all you need. You don't need to go into a story of my father's father was the king of this land and I slayed 20 dragons in the age of... No, no, we don't need that information. We just need to know you have a sword, you're a warrior, and you had a lineage. Okay, we're done. Let's go fight this other dragon in this dungeon. We're good. We don't have time to know about the rest of it. So I appreciate short backstories. Now the thing about Ryan visually is that he's very feminine looking. So I actually had to reread that part where he identified as a cis male. He's very pink, he has a flower, he's very cute, and he also looks very small and tiny and adorable, which once again is a bit weird to me since he's described as being six foot freaking four. I mean, I'm pretty tall, but even I'm not that tall, this guy would tower over me, and I'm just trying to imagine a pink and white slash red robot with a cutesy outfit like that looking over me. It's I mean, it can work, I guess. It's a bit weird, but yeah, sure, why not? The thing that jumped out at me, a couple things, number one, is that how his limbs are kind of disattached from him, and I'm a big fan of characters like this. Uh, I, back when I was a kid, I used to play Raymond on the PlayStation 1, or maybe it was 2, I can't remember which it was, but I remember Raymond being a character with limbs that kind of floated, and I appreciate that about characters. He's got little fingers that... Uh, have only four fingers on them. Well, three fingers and one thumb if you want to get technical. Once again, also appreciate that. And the style the style I was kind of going for slash kind of saw was uh, my life as a teenage robot. I think it's called uh, Jenny. What's her name? It was an old cartoon back on Cartoon Network. So that's sort of where my brain went when I saw this character. I tried to give them a bit more dynamic pose. I tried to drew them, draw them from a perspective. I think I did quite well enough. Anyways, can you play this character in a tabletop role-playing game? And I'd say absolutely. I'm a fan of Warforged, robot characters, all that stuff. So, yep, why not? Used to be a cleaner. Now I'm not. Then you have LARP. Can you play this character? And I'd say, eh, not is the way that they're drawn. Like, once again, you can't really have floating limbs unless you have a black bodysuit and kind of tell everybody, hey, there's nothing in between here. Uh, I suppose... Being six foot four can't be that hard. You just wear extra big shoes. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, sure, it works. Why not? Now, before I finish, I'm just going to point out that I have also drawn another character who was basically an artificial life form who was made for cleaning and then went off on their own to become something more. It's only happened twice now, but it's odd that it's happened twice. Anyways, my name is Freebewitz. I hope you've enjoyed my drawing and talking video, and uh, bye bye